But uh, I'm going to try one that uh, I don't know if I can do it in this high altitude, but I'm going to try it. going to do it. This is another one that I wrote with Garth, and um, usually he'll come in and he'll have an idea, like Corey was saying with Chris, or I'll have an idea. And this was one of those days, like when we were writing Getting You Home, where you go, Well, I got this idea. And you tell somebody, and they go, I don't like that one. And he goes, Well, I got this idea, and I don't like that one. So Garth and I had, had one of those days, and so we just decided we we're going to go out in the backyard. And I had this black Labrador that he loved. and. He said, let's just throw her the Frisbee for a little bit, you know, maybe get our minds in a different place. And so we did, and then we just sat down and we started talking about women out on the back porch. And that kind of took about two or three hours. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of started just talking about things. And so we went back into the house and we just picked up guitars. And, and Corey likes to start writing a song without really having a title or knowing where it's going sometimes because it just kind of will organically and evolve into something and so Garth and I were doing that and we got to this one point and uh, he said well you know we need I'm thinking something a little sexy in here and I said well you know I was watching I think it was Oprah or something and these women were talking about how they turned their men on and one of them was that they wrapped themselves in saran wraps for when he came home he, they'd be naked, but they'd have saran wrap on it. He said, I oh, don't know, that, that... I said, well, I don't know, it's on Oprah, so it's got to be true. And, and so I said, well, you know, what about something like with an apron or something like that? And so he said, all right, we'll do, we'll do that. And uh, so we wrote this song, and the other thing that was funny in this song is um, seeing it, Corey's from Tucson, Garth's first single was called Much Too Young to Feel This Damn Old, and the Tucson radio station wouldn't play that because it had the word damn in it. Aww. So when we were writing this song, Garth said, I want to put damn in the song twice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there goes Tucson. <laughs> and then when I met Corey, he said, I never heard that song. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew why. So... Um, it's kind of kind of funny when you're right with somebody and you know you're just not going to get radio play to begin with. So we're really innocent in Tucson. I know. Talk to these two. I can tell by looking at yeah, them. Yeah, the sweetest people in this room. You can tell. <laughs> so the main thing I can say about this song is it supposedly helped the sale of aprons. <laughs> She heard him say, damn this rain, damn this wasted day, but she'd been waiting for this day for oh so long. She was standing in the kitchen with nothing but an apron on, and in disbelief he stood and he stared a while. Yeah. 
saw him cry And somewhere other than the night She needs to hear I love you Somewhere other than the night She needs to know you care And she wants to know she's needed She needs to be held tight Somewhere other than the night If she won't